It was a moment of jubilation for both inmates and prison staff who completed their undergraduate programs through a partnership with the University of London. Patricia McKellar, the Associate Dean of Undergraduate Law Studies at the University of London and the Director of Social Welfare Rehabilitation in Kenya, Mary Hayemba, lauded the initiative saying many inmates are now capable of successful filing petitions to review their cases. Studying for this degree has allowed you to recognize the value of learning and I hope will encourage you to direct your energy and your enthusiasm to improve yourself and your community. It is a splendid achievement. Time and will you be a blessing to other people. I believe that pro bono services should begin from you. When you live here, go and do that outside. Don't say Pesa Kwanza. <laughs> Sentiments echoed by the senior assistant commissioner of prisons, Agri Onyang. But because of APP now, instead of us now going out there to request for qualified lawyers who may not be willing to do pro bono services, we are now having our own prisons officers and prisoners who are now trained and qualified in law. Francis Munyao, a convict serving 21 years sentence, appealed to the government to consider the fate of reformed prisoners. Yes, the government kindly considers those who have graduated today and we are still serving our sentences because recently our nation Kenya commemorated, we celebrated our heroes and heroines in our nation. But nobody thought of those people who have made tremendous achievements while in prison. So, Suleimanieri, Channel One News.